In this video, we'll look at the ICS planning process. The planning P lays out the sequential steps that successful incident management teams use to manage an incident. The stem of the planning P shows the processes in the initial stages of an incident, while the circle part of the P shows the repeated processes that continue until the end of the incident when the planning process is no longer required. One of the key features of ICS is the ICS planning process. There's so much chaos in a large incident, there's so many moving parts and so much activity going on that an incident management team has to fall back and constantly rely on the planning process, following the schedule, keeping the meetings on time, following the agenda that the planning section chief establishes, and that's what keeps everybody moving in the same direction, keeps the process of bringing order out of chaos, and if you can master the ICS planning process, you will master the incident. Briefings and meetings are essential elements of this planning process. However, there are critical differences between the goals of a briefing and those of a meeting. The purpose of a briefing is to pass along specific information about the incident. In contrast, meetings are held during the planning cycle to process information and make decisions. The meetings and briefings really are key to the success of incident management. Without accurate, timely information and the exchange of that information, there's no way to safely, effectively, and smoothly manage an incident. There just isn't any way to do it. During this video, you will see reenactments of briefings and meetings that are being held in response to an overturned tractor trailer that resulted in the release of diesel fuel and the pesticide diazinon.